Hi all, welcome to the CA classroom. In this video, we're going to see expected questions for CA inter corporate and other laws for May 2022 exams. Now, in this, it's not going to be a random prediction of all the questions. It's going to be a proper analysis for the past few attempts. To give you a small example, let me just take General Clauses Act. If you take General Clauses Act from May 18 till December 21, they have tested totally 18 different concepts and hardly any concept has been repeated except one or two. For example, document definition was repeated twice. Then concept of good faith has been repeated three times. And like that, just two, three concepts. But if you look at the past trend in the past few attempts, most of the concepts that are coming from General Clause Act are new concepts. For example, in December 21, they asked financial year and definition of rule, oath, and person. In the previous attempt, they asked computation of time. The one before that, they asked definition of government. So with this, we can predict that in the next exam, either something from the past attempt can be repeated or some other new concept can be tested. Keeping that in the background, what we have done is, in the chapter of General Clause Act, I have listed down subtopics expected in May 2022 this list over here from point number one, immovable property till point eight, commencement of time. Some areas here is what is already tested. Some areas is what is yet to be tested. Now, for example, similarly, if I take some other chapter for that example, let me take, for example, deposits chapter. Now, deposits, if you see, for the past four attempts from November 20 till December 21, they are asking this question continuously for four times. What is a deposit and what is not a deposit? that basic definition and rule points. It has been tested four times. Then, then concepts related to what is eligible company, procedure for accepting deposits has not been tested for a very long time. So this time, if you look at the expected questions, you can see that in deposits chapter, I've given more importance to amendment 76A and also eligible company and procedure for accepting deposits. Same way, if you look at charges, the beautiful thing over here is from July 21 and December 21, last two attempts, they have not tested charges for even one mark properly. So this time, 100% charges will be tested in the coming exam because it's been skipped for two attempts. So something will come in from this chapter. I've given what I feel is important. So you can, all, you can go through the entire chapter. In a similar manner, I have done it for all the chapters. For example, if you take share capital and debentures chapter if you look at the analysis only a few concepts have been repeated like buyback or if you take bonus shares or right shares has been tested only once in the past in november 19 if you look at this analysis for example alteration of share capital just once if you see security stream account just once in jan 21 so based on this what i have done here in share capital and debentures chapters i have given out those questions which have not yet been tested even once ever in exam. For example, if you take sweat equity shares, I don't think it has been tested. Or if you take other concepts like differential voting rights or variation of shareholders, right? So differential voting rights has been tested once way back in May 18. Often it has never been tested. And variation of shareholders rights has never been tested. So these concepts might have more importance. So I put up those concepts over here which has not been tested and few concepts which might be tested again. For example, for this attempt, May 22, I feel right shares is very important because there is an amendment and right shares has not been tested in the previous attempt. So this time they can test it very much. So remember guys, if you look at the past two, three attempts, they, when I say right shares, okay, you have to learn the procedure for right shares, but that alone is not important because if you look at the 70 marks in your exam, if you look at the question paper, Everything is case study based question. Everything is case study. They have hardly asked any procedure or difference question. So if you just know the concepts, that is more than enough because they're not asking straight direct questions. That time is gone. So it's all about case study. For example, if you take meetings chapter, if you take meetings management and administration, it's been quite some time since they have tested concept of quorum. It's been four attempts since they have tested quorum and two attempts since they have tested proxy. If you see electronic vote, they have tested only once in May 19. I predicted in December 21 it will come and it came. So if you look at the actuals, based on this for the previous attempts, what we have been doing, in July 21, out of 92 marks, we got 44 marks it came. 
and for December 21, expected questions 44.5 marks out of 92 marks came. So not necessarily a disclaimer which I want to give you that always it will be right. It's only an analysis and that's why I'm releasing this video a little late so that you study everything and not just this. So the same way if you take management and administration, some concepts like 89 and 90 beneficial interest in SBO, significant beneficial interest has not been tested ever. So that I've put it in the first point over here. Annual return has been quite some time, so they might test it now. Then, like I said, quorum and proxy since it's been two to three attempts that has been mentioned over here. Postal ballot has not been tested itself. So that is a concept which is very, very important and they have never tested postal ballot. So that's important. So I mentioned over here. So I've showed you a summary of how to read this. So in the description of this video, you will find the link of this entire document analysis of past six attempts, but actually more than six attempts from May 18. And what is the expected questions? This is your main document for May 2022. So I don't want you to study only this, but study everything else and maybe you can give more focus to these areas. For example, if you take CSR, there has been huge amendment and I expected this to come in the previous attempt itself, but it was not tested because of there was some, they wanted to give some time for you guys. So May 22, I am 100% sure the question paper will have CSR. It's going to be very rare like to find a question paper this year in 2022 without CSR. So one last information that in the description of this video, I'm also giving link for quick revision videos for CA inter other loss quick concept revision videos and also crash course for May 22 and November 22 CA inter law is available at just rupees 1000 rupees with unlimited views along with demo video. So if you need those classes, always feel free to reach out on WhatsApp and I'll give those classes for you. So this is about it guys. All the very best for your exams.